Maggie. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so annoying to me. <laughs> I'm exercising great restraint to not hurt him. So when you have a cargo camper, the outside is as much of your living space as the inside. The problem is, is many of the places that you camp when you're in a cargo camper because you're doing more boondocking and things like that can be pretty buggy. So we are going to go ahead and make sure that we can still leave our doors open and not worry about bugs. We're going to install some screens on the door, on the side, and on the back today. Hey friends, I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And right now we are working on a cargo camper build. And we have like gutted the whole thing. You can see we're inside, it's looking good. We've done videos of all of the things that we've been doing along the way. So if you want to check out some of those, you can go to our channel or visit our website at www.beefreebenson.com. We'll link that in the description below as well. And here's the, the fun part is, is that we also have steps, tips and tricks, all kinds of other things on our website too. So visit our website for more information. So this is one of the magnetic screens. It's magnet in the in the center, so it clips right shut. <laughs> now we are going to put this over top of the script of the door and around the sides. We're going to slide it over some, so it's going to overhang on this side over here. But it has to because of where the light switch is and how it just has to fit on here. Things are not made for cargo campers so you have to make you have to make do so we're also as you can see the bottom is way too long so we're just going to cut off the bottom pieces and that's gonna be perfect so the first step is going to be to lay out the screen and attach the velcro to all of the all of the sides so now that we have the Velcro on the back, we're ready to go ahead and we're just going to hang the top. So then we can measure the bottom and cut off the bottom. Bless you. <laughs> and you want to make sure that you get it in exactly the spot that you're going to put it in because this tape does not come off. Now that we have the top secured, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut the bottom first. And you can see that we are over further on this side than that side, but that's okay because it's where the light was and we couldn't, like, we wouldn't be able to stick this Velcro down along this side. All right, so typically on the very bottom, because you don't want it to unravel or any of the uh, material to c become frayed, what I did in the rescue wagon was I took black Gorilla Tape and I just basically taped along both sides and sandwiched the, the bottom of this screen so that it would create a finished edge. Press that down in the center. What's that? I did take a skin off your thumb. Yeah, nice. And then we're going to take this and we're going to, let me just fold it from my way. Is it possible to put too much heat on this? Yeah. But you could probably see. Can you grab that? Yeah. So we've created a hem on the bottom with the duct tape. We're just simply going to cut it, but we're going to leave enough that it overlaps itself and creates a seal. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and peel off the sides where we have the Velcro and we're going to press it down onto the wall and I, or onto the frame of the door on this one. And I'm starting with the door side because that's my most critical side that I need to be, have it more exact. Now I'm going to line this up. Cause did she scratch it? Yeah, so we're going to... It's very occasional. Okay, just give me... I'm almost done with this. Okay. 
So we have the screen finished. No more flies. We don't have to worry about that. For more videos like this, you can click on the video on the screen or you can go to our channel and click on one of our playlists. For tools used in this project as well as products used in this project, step-by-step -step guide and more, you can go to our website at www.befreebenson.com and the link will be in the description below. If you found value in this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, doing things yourself saves you money. This only costs like $11. It saves you money and allows you to be free. See you in the next video. That was $20 worth of duct tape. Sometimes when I'm talking, I just don't even know what I'm gonna say. And it just comes out so brilliant.